Hi everyone, Linda Smith here bringing you your weekly Young at Heart class. We're doing three sections this week again. So uh, for the second section, the resistance and strength section, you will need some dumbbells today. If you don't have those, you can just use some tins of beans or some water bottles or something like that. Section three will include some mat-based exercises as well. Okay? Start your so workout. Start by rolling those shoulders. Up, up, down, down. Let a roll. Two, three, lift. Up, up, down, down. Roll back. Lift it up. Up, up, down, down. Reach and side. Reach and side. So reach, side, up, up. Reach, side, up, up. Forward, side, up, up. Last one. And heels. Good. Let's travel that to the right. One, two, three, four. And back. And again, one, two, three, four, back. Take it across, cross. Take it behind, reach up, up. Four, three, two. And front again, seven rotation. Four, three, Two. Take it behind. One, two, three. Sorry, wrong arm. <laughs> Roll forward to me. Knee up. Knee up. Let's add an arms to the knee now as you lift. Little hop. Little hop. Reach. And again. So it's not a big jump. Just a little warm up hop. March in place, and wide, squat, feet together, march in place, wide, squat, press, together, march, wide, squat, together, last time, squat, Together, heel, heel, lift, lift, heel to the side, lift, front, 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 side, stay here, pull down, good, let's get those legs up, should be feeling nice and warm now, And just march. Okay, let's go forward. Up, open, roll back, roll back. Really open up now through side body. Wide, toe down position. Nice opening for inner thighs. Take a few breaths in and out. Okay, hold. Tail gone under, forward and back. So really limbering up that lower back. Hold, side and side. Side. Okay, we're gonna hold it here. Turn, lower down. Hips are forwards. Nice big stretch, hold it there. Center, turn, lower down. Back up nice and straight. Last one. Bring it center and wide. Nice big stretch and down. Nice big stretch. Dynamic. Dynamic. Excellent. Walk it in. Foot back. Calf stretch. Arms. Nice dynamic upper body stretch at the same time. And change. 
So pump and hands behind. Press down. Four, three, two. All right, just keep it moving. Stretch up, stretch up, and down. Roll those shoulders. Are we all nice and warm? Step touch. Pull up, pull up. So bigger movements this time. Lift, lift. Changing the arms. Pull back, pull back. So bend those knees a little bit more. Good. Going into a hamstring curl from here. Okay, pull, pull. Bend those knees. You want to make as much as you can of these, of these movements. Let's change those arms. Pull down. Good. Four, three, two. Into grapevine. Just add a little hop to that. You use the space you have. Okay, we're going to add on here. Grapevine, out, in. Grapevine, out, in. Grapevine, out, in. Grapevine. Just a normal grapevine. Going into a mambo step on your right foot. Here we go. Side, cha cha cha. We all know this, we've done it quite a lot. The start of all these lockdown classes. Little hip movement. Let's add some arms. Reach, reach. Sweep it across. Sweep it across. Last feel. Okay. Going into a box step on your right foot. One, two, three. We're going to add that little hop out. Box step. Hop. Hop. Box step. Jack. If you want to do a slow jack, you do one slow or you do two. Okay, so we do one slow, one, two, three, quick, and slow, one, two, three, quick. Just a box step. Okay, going into a rocking horse. Back, back. Pull, pull back. Okay, keep it going. Pull down, pull down. Last few, going into two steps to your right. Four, three, two. Here we go, big circles. And again, use that space if you have it. And one, two. Come on, nice big reach. Last few. And last one. Hamstring curl. Single. Double. Single. Double. Single. Double. Single. Arms out. Arms up.
And again. And tricep. 
Okay, well done. Should all be nice and warm. So our next session, cycle two, is using our, our dumbbells. So grab hold of those. And we put the music on. So we're going to start off, we're doing a little Tabata kind of thing today, doing the same exercise either two or three times, I can't remember what I put in. Six exercises, okay? So we're going to start with dumbbell shoulder press overhead. So bring the arms up here, 30 seconds, here we go. Up and down. Push, keep those feet moving. That's a halfway. And again, push and down. Push and down. Push. Last one. Five second rest. Roll your shoulders. Doing the same exercise. Here we go. Up and down. Hold those tummies in. Try not to arch your back as you push up. If you need to go a little bit more forward in front of your head. Just to protect that back. Face your halfway beat. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Should you start to feel this now? Last few seconds. One more. Good. Okay, keep holding dumbbells. Next exercise. Round the clock on your right leg. Okay? Five, six, seven, and one. Twelve. One. Two. Three, four, five, posterior lunge, six, back to six, five, four, three, two, one, and twelve. Good, well done. Walk it out, five seconds, doing the same thing on the same leg. Five, six, seven, and twelve. One. Focus on where you're stepping, how the other leg is feeling, that's your working leg. Two. Posterior lunge. And again. Back. Five. Twenty past. Quarter past. Ten past. Five past. And on the hour. Okay, we're doing arms up, out, in and down. Okay, with a march, here we go. Up, out, in and down. Up, out, in and down. Up, out. Up, out, in and down. Again, lift, open, in and down. Last one. The rest, five second rest, roll those shoulders. Okay, up, out, in and down. Lift, open, close, down. Good. Come on, keep it going. Halfway beep. So really feel your arms and your upper body working. Last one and rest. Okay, round the clock, left leg. So we're going the other way now, anti-clockwise. Last few seconds. Five, six, seven, and 12. 11, 10, nine, eight, a little bit more, seven, posterior lunge, and from posterior, back, and again, round the clock, and 12, brilliant, good, so let's go do that one more time on the left leg, Keep your feet moving, here we go. So really visualize that clock face. Turn your body, a bit more. Straight back, 
And again, straight back. Turn. Turn a little less. Side. On the front now. Front. And then 12. Good. Well done. Torso rotations. You can use two weights or one weight, whatever you feel comfortable with. Knee soft. Turn. Centre. And turn. Centre. Turn. Centre. Now you can have these levers of your arms as long as you want. The longer the lever, the harder you work. So pull your core muscles in and just turn. So it's my body that's turning, not my arms. So I'm not just doing this with my arms, okay? So round and the other one. Okay, the rest and off we go. Round. So focus, knee soft. Feel the movement right down to your ankles. If it's too much, put one weight down, or both weights down, or bring the weight or your hands in towards to rest on your sternum. So you've got sternum halfway out, out rather, and all the way out. So one more each side, good, and rest. Sumo squat, we can't do a class without a sumo squat. Nice and wide, hold your weights. Here we go. Hips go back and down. Down, as low as you feel comfortable. Don't bend your back. Focus on the legs. Have your feet as wide as you feel comfortable. Down, up. Good. So really push through those legs to come up. Last one. Little rest, hips side to side. Keep your feet where they are, and down. Let's add some arms, reach, reach, reach. Reach to the right, reach to the left, reach to the right, and to the left. Keep it going, reach as high as you feel comfortable, don't lose your technique. Reach center, last one, good, rest, put your dumbbells down, have a little drink, okay, so bring yourself onto your left side, in a legs bent about 45 degrees, use your dumbbell on your thigh, have a little bit of extra work if you want to, engage your core, shoulders back, and we do hip clap, open, close, open, close. So resting on your forearm, elbow underneath the shoulder, and just have that weight about halfway up your thigh. And feel the extra work on that leg, on the buttocks, and that outer thigh. Try not to roll back through your hips. Up and down, up and down. Again, one and down, two. Oh, you should be starting to feel this by now. Come on, hang on in there. Last quarter to go. So this exercise strengthens the outer thighs and your glutes. Last one, and rest. Okay, modified plank. Put your weights down. So we're going to rest on our forearms. Push up onto your knees. Engage your core. Just float the thighs up and just hold in that position. So a nice modified plank. Hold it there. So what we can do is tuck our toes under. Lift the right leg. Left leg. Right knee down. Left knee down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Hold that tummy in. And again. If this is too much, you just stay in that knee position. 
drop down out of this any time you want to. Really feel your core working here. Strengthening the back as well. Last one. And rest. Okay, all fours. Work in the buttocks. We're going to do a glute lift and an abduction at the same time. Well, not, I don't mean at the same time, but alternating. Okay, so resting. So right leg comes up, down, side, release. Up, down, side, release. Lift, lower, side, release. Again, up, down, release. Okay, let's do that on the other leg. Is that a half wing? Keep going. No, we're still on the same leg, it was a half wing. Okay. And up, down, I thought it was a quick minute as well. Up, down, lift and lower. Up, down, lift and lower. Okay, little rest. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna switch myself around. Okay, ready, here we go. Up, down, lift and lower. Push up, down, lift. Tummy in tight, up, release. Pushing up with the buttocks, out of thigh. Engage the core, just go with the flexibility you have in your hip joint. In this range of motion, in this type of motion. So try to keep yourself stable. Up, down, lift and lower. Again. Up, down, lift, and lower. Keep your hips square. So pull your left hip down and your right hip push up. Keep them square. And last one. Good. Heel clam. Heel clam, hip clam. I will confuse my body parts today. Okay, it's been a long week. Okay, so resting. Let's place that weight on your thigh, legs four to five degrees. Here we go. Up and down. Open, close. Really pull those belly centers in. And down. Push up and down. So the weight should be on your mid thigh. You don't want it on your knee or your hip. You never put anything on, a, on the actual joint or bones. Okay, only on tissue. Up and down. You should be starting to feel this now as you get to that end range. Good. Now this is what we need to slim our legs down and tone them up. And don't forget for this class we're doing a total toning body, total body toning I should say, all the time, every single week. I might isolate the abs now and again, like last week. Okay. So now I'm talking about abs, we're going to do the abs now. So C-shape roll down. So we've all done this before, so pull the flesh out from behind you. Bend the knees, hands to knees, tuck the tailbone under, arms straight, roll back up. Here we go. Down, two, and up, two. Down, two, so you're feeling your spine here, make a C-shape as it rolls down. So round in, pull it belly center in. And again, we're gonna start adding some legs to this now. Down, two, up, two. And we're gonna have this seesaw action now. If you wanna stay with the first one, that's fine. Just keep that going. And again, two, three, four. Let's add the arms now. Opposite. Opposite arm. Opposite arm. One more each side. And rest it down. Okay, so well done. So we're going to stretch now. 
So just roll your spine down, bring your right leg in, adjust your shoulder blades, keep your tailbone down, extend your left leg, extend your right leg up. Hold the back of the thigh or the calf, wherever you feel comfortable. And just relax with your breath. So as you breathe in, search for a little more space in the muscles. And as you breathe out, move yourself into that space to find the next edge of your stretch. Pushing your heel away to the ceiling. And then bend the knee, slide the left foot in. Take your right ankle to the thigh, draw the legs in. Hold the left leg as we thread the needle here, stretching the outer thigh and buttock area from all that work we've just done. Relax, push foot into thigh, thigh into foot, create that activation. Releasing down, changing legs. So left knee in, right leg out, extend up. Find that position of stretch, make sure your shoulder blades are down, heels are pushed away, and you feel a nice stretch in the back of the thigh. Keep the knee soft, and breathe in, search for a little bit more space, and exhale into that space to find your next edge of the stretch. Release, slide the right foot in, left ankle to thigh, draw the legs in, and hold through the gap in the middle. And relax. Maintain your spinal position here. Extend from the crown of your head and push the tailbone away. So you have that slight curvature in your lower back. Feel both shoulder blades down. Slight engagement on your core. Good. And then release down from here. So come onto your front as we do our stretch of the quads. So one foot back, head down, knees parallel. Just push and lengthen. And then release and change to the other side. So foot into hand, hand into foot, hips are square, elbows are soft, let the head relax down. And then release, just bring your arms to hands level with your shoulders and push the tops of the toes down, pubic bone down, lift the heart center to come up into a stretch of the abdominal muscles here. So just feel that lifting of the heart center, not the arching of the lower back. Come up as high as you feel comfortable to get a good stretch. And that's good for your back, okay? Sorry, my glasses have dropped down on my nose now. I'll get them off in a minute. Right, release down. Pushing up onto all fours. Cat cow. Breathe in, lower and lift. Exhale, push the other way. Widen shoulder blades. Inhale, press down. Widen collarbones. Don't push through your wrists. Just keep that movement going. Nice flow with breath. Good. And back up. And then from here, bring it down to neutral. Take your right hand forward and just press through with the left arm to thread the needle. Pull your left hip away to the left and push your left fingers to the right. So really open out through that side, through that left side. Deepen in the breath. Releasing. Left hand forward, right arm through, shoulder down, cheek down, right hip pull to the right, right fingers push to the left. Nice big opening. And deepen in the breath. 
searching for a little bit more space, moving into that space with your breath out. And then release. Okay, so from here, bring your toes under, bring your right foot forward and hold the stretching hip flexor. Push back, sit back, change legs. Press through, hip flexor. Good, and then from here, tuck your toes under, bring yourself to standing. Just take those arms up and stretch up through the right side, through the left side. Nice big stretch. Bring the right arm across and down for tricep stretch, pushing back. Nice big opening. Left arm up and over and back. Good, and release down behind, push down and lift, extend from the crown of your head, nice big opening, and release it down, give yourself a big hug, and a big pat on the back, good, well done, rolling through the spine, lovely, lift up and down, with your feet together, take a breath in, and out. Take a breath in and out. One more time, big deep breath in, bring those arms down to your side and relax. Give yourself a big hand. Well done everybody, you did really well today. Good job, Tight, kind of taking the notch up a little bit today for you with those little bit of impact with the, the, the slow and the quicker jacks. Don't have to do them, you always have the option to do this, okay? So enjoy your week. Thank you for joining me today and I shall see you next week. Bye, bye.